is Aidan Matthews, I'm 19 years old. I'm a freelance photographer and videographer and I'm from Loughborough. I really like urban photography because I feel so engaged with the environment when I'm in there and um, one of my friends put this very well. He said, I look like I'm in a war zone when I'm in an environment such as that. I lose all orientation of what else matters and the only thing that matters is what's in front of me. I started off uh, by buying a, a very old film camera from the market and going around taking photos of friends. This was when I was like 13 years old. I dropped out of school because I felt that my teachers didn't have an understanding of my erratic and hyperactive behavior. Um, I thought it was best to learn to deal with that myself as opposed to having other people teach me how to deal with that. I mean, you're your own best teacher and that's what I was most confident in doing. I just felt like I could achieve so much more by myself, being self-motivated. I, I gained the money to buy my first professional camera, uh, thankfully for a loan from my dad. Um, I was doing some dead-end work to enable me to buy my first professional lens. When I first started taking photos in my spare time, I watched quite a few videos on Bruce Children and his methods of taking photos in the streets. I also researched a lot of his work and that really inspired me. Sweatham is my name backwards. Um, it originated from me not wanting to be Aidan Matthews photography. It, it just came about and I kind of stuck with it since then. I started off with working for many different club nights in Loughborough. Uh, this was quite hard graft, it wasn't very pleasant. Um, and then I started to move on to more corporate clients, bigger and better nights, uh, more, more music orientated nights. This brings in the money, but it's, it's not what I'm ultimately passionate about. I, I recently had my first exhibition, which has made me realize that that's what I want to um, hopefully finance me in the future. One of my most peaceful and favourite locations is the Glacier Lake in Iceland. Um, this being because it's like no other place on earth. I really wanted to travel to different countries to explore the different cultures behind those countries. And it made me feel like coming back to England every time I'd visit a new country, it makes England more interesting. For example, coming back from Iceland, um, the change that I saw when coming back was how peaceful England can be if you're in the right mindset. I got into urban photography because it sparks an interest in the way you compose an image. Um, urban photography can be anything uh, built up and there's so many different compositions that you can create through that and that really interested me. I currently have three projects in the pipeline. Um, the first of those is a book about China, exploring four cities and seeing that from a Westerner's point of view. The second project is a project about Berlin and the juxtaposition of um, green foliage and, and kind of architecture. It's very hard to, to describe.
My third project is about Iceland. Um, I call this project the Medusa Project, um, shooting loads of landscapes and um, I'm in contact now with the search and rescue team about out there um, to have a heavy influence on how dangerous but beautiful the place is. My favourite project at the moment is my Iceland project. This is because I'm enabled to see the whole of Iceland and explore parts of the country that I never thought I would be able to. One of my most memorable stories was from when I was in Anshan in China. This is, this is a, the steel city of, of China, like equivalent to Sheffield. Um, being one of the only few Westerners there, I walked around the streets photographing the people of Anshan and I met this, this alcoholic um, that I managed to have a slight conversation with and it was a very surreal moment realising that I could connect with somebody so far apart from what I'm used to. Um, which made me realise that everybody's the same, nobody's different and we can all level with everybody. In terms of my inspiration, a lot of my inspiration comes from um, A Weiwei. I really like his, his sense of rebelling and, and, and true belief in what he stands for. Um, that's just in terms of more in terms of personal opinion than than anything it does influence my style and in the sense that i i'm confident in what i'm doing and and nobody else is going to tell me otherwise and and that's what really influences me about a way way in terms of how i edit my photos i'm very enthusiastic about using a very dark black i I feel like this is this is what makes me me, um, and it brings out it brings out a lot of detail in in what I'm portraying in the highlights and 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 that kind of thing. I distribute my photos mainly by Instagram. Um, in terms of my projects, it's more prints and books and zines. Um, but with, with my friendship group, I distribute them amongst them. Uh, for example, Easy Life use a lot of my photography for their uh, promotional material. I use Instagram stories very frequently because it gives me a, a very quick way to connect with connect with my audience and show them what's going on and show them what I'm around and what I'm looking at and, and, and give them my perspective very quickly. To be honest, the end goal, I don't really see at the moment. I mean, I'm looking to get my own studio soon. I really want to open a, a, a public space for people to come in and sell stuff and, and host events there. I really want to get into clothing more. I really want to pursue more personal projects and collaborate with other artists. I don't really see an end goal. It's just a case of little goals that build up to an end goal, really. The advice that I'd give to my younger self is to stay true to what I believe in and don't, don't let my passion kind of hide away. Like, that's, that's the most important thing and just be, be passionate and be happy.